This is a quick video about uh, how you might go about repairing a tone wheel generator for a Hammond. This one happens to be from a Hammond B3 around the 1959 model. And uh, if you've uh, played around with Hammonds or watched videos, you'll have seen the inside of the tone wheel generator. This is the inside of the, or the bottom of the tone wheel generator for the Hammond B3. You can see the pickups close to the tone wheels. I won't go over material others have done many times before, but I will make a note of my particular issue and maybe what you can do to fix yours if you ever find this problem. The main shaft of the tone wheel generator, which is uh, where this uh, Bendix gear is uh, affixed to, uh, and the Bendix gear is what the start motor um, grabs or meshes with when it's starting. The main shaft goes right through the uh, entire length of the tone generator to the other side, and that's what's uh, attached to the run motor. So this is the, the main shaft right here coming out. In my particular case, and I won't go through the details of why this happened, but the main shaft became uncoupled. There are actually um, probably seven different uh, sections of main shaft. We'll see if I can get a good close-up of this with a lot of light. You'll see one section of the main shaft right there. And then you'll see the, uh, the gears that uh, mesh with the Bakelite gears for the tone wheels. Then you'll see that there is a section of this particular tone wheel generator that is uncoupled. I'll follow the shaft along the main shaft and you'll see the next section is coupled with that flat brass paddle, people call them. I guess that's a good name um, for want of a better name. So that's another section of shaft. There's a bearing, uh, you know, in each plate of the tone wheel generator. Follow the shaft along, and you'll see another paddle coupling. And uh, keep going. You'll see another paddle coupling. Keep going. Another paddle coupling. Right to the end. Another paddle coupling. And so on. So many, many sections of shaft. I think seven sections of shaft altogether. We'll go back to the to my separated section. So what I'm going to do, and uh, I will finish this video with uh, with this. Hopefully, it'll work. Is put the new. Part, what happened in my case is that this is the paddle that couples it. It should have four uh, wings or teeth on it. These uh, wings or teeth actually go into the gear, the brass gears. There are holes in the brass gears. They go in there. This one broke. So it fell out. This is a replacement paddle that uh, I was very um, considerately provided by another Hammond enthusiast. And so the idea is to place this uh, replacement paddle and uh, get it to go in there. Um, will it happen? I think I can do it because uh, there's a lot of, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of play in the shaft. Um, it looks like the paddle, um, you know, kind of holds, once the, all the paddles are in and all the shaft pieces are together, it holds them together and pushes the bushing that uh, will come out the other end here, pushes that through and, you know, keeps it um, uh, taut or keeps it uh, uh, placed or located in its proper hole. So I think that should work. It's not easy. I'm uh, Working carefully at this with a 
giant magnifying glass and uh, some very fine tools. It's uh, definitely a tough, fine job, but uh, it's a lot better than trying to take the tone wheel generator apart. So I will uh, give a little bit of an update if I'm able to successfully uh, fix this and get all the, the wheels running.